Hey there. I've been talking to Trish, and she told me that the city bought an old tram. Isn't that exciting? A heritage tram, to be exact. It's almost 80 years old. It was one of the first trams used here in the city. Trish and I talked about it. She knows so much about the city's history. And we agreed that it would be great if you could establish a tram network. This will be the first time in decades that Angel Shores has a tram and its public transport network. I'm so excited! I'd like you to meet Mr. Stevenson Sr. He served the city for a very long time and just recently retired. But he's all up for helping you out with driving your first tram and setting up the transport network. Pleased to meet you. It's great to see a new generation returning to my favorite mode of transport. Let's get going, shall we? First things first, let's get ourselves a tram. the route I've set up for you, young'un. I tell you everything else you need to know while we drive. Pushing the lever forward accelerates the tram. Moving it back to neutral keeps the tram at its current speed. Just make sure that you don't get yourself stuck. Driving backwards is not allowed. See those arrows? They show you the direction the tram is going to take at the next junction. You can change the junction by steering in the direction you want to go. Oh, and don't forget, trams have priority at unregulated crossings, but you still need to use your turn signals to show which direction you're taking. As you've probably noticed, driving a tram isn't all that complicated. You don't even have to choose the side when opening the doors. The tram will know at the stop and open them accordingly. Just remember not to pass a tram when it's taking on passengers. It will cost you a hefty fine. And don't forget to close the doors again once everyone's on board.
Handling, young'un. I bet you'll be an amazing tram driver. What a beautiful day, and an even more beautiful city. 
A great time to get you a bit more acquainted with trams and to show you how much nicer they are than buses. That button turns on the windscreen wipers. But I'm sure buses have those too, right? Yes, handling a tram doesn't seem like it's changed a lot. There are still all the same dials and buttons. I remember when I drove trams and used to manually switch junctions and spray sand on the tracks like it was no big deal. But trams nowadays are much safer than they were back in that day.